Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 194. We spent the morning here in our room in the brand new Grand Estino Tower at Coronado Springs working because it is a brand new mm -hmm. tower, which means brand new Wi-Fi. A lot better than some of the other resorts <laughs> and we could get a lot done. We were editing some videos and posting those up to YouTube and also posting a couple to Facebook, scheduling them out for later. And I had some work I was working on for my clients and I figured since I have good internet, I may as well get as much done as I possibly can. But right around one o'clock or so, we were kind of ready to go and do something. So we decided to head down to the pool here at Coronado Springs. It's a really cool mm -hmm. pool. It's got this Aztec temple right there at the front of it. And it's got a waterfall coming down. And there's a pretty good water slide here at this pool. This is a really fun pool slide. So we stayed out here for a few hours just going down the pool slide over and over and playing games in the pool. They always have poolside activities, which are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. They're generally for children, but we still enjoy them. A lot of times they'll do trivia or music trivia. So we don't have to be necessarily with the kids to play the game. We just kind of listen and then answer in between ourselves and see how much we know about Disney. We stayed out here for most of the afternoon before heading back inside to get ready. We still want to go to Three Bridges because we didn't go yesterday yesterday because it was pouring rain, mm -hmm. but we've had a really nice day today, which means we're happy to go eat in this lounge. We thought they opened at four o'clock, so we headed out there. Turns out they don't open till 4.30, so we messed that up. Yeah. But we are nice and hungry, which means we're gonna be even hungrier in 30 minutes, and we don't wanna walk back to our room up to the tower. By the time we do all that, it'll be 30 minutes. So we decided just to walk around the resort a little bit, take some pictures, because this is a gorgeous resort, and we love being out on the bridges. The three bridges that actually connect this lounge are really awesome and give some really pretty views. We were there at 4.30 when they opened. We were actually the first ones to go inside the lounge because nobody else was waiting for them to open. So we were given our choice of where we wanted to sit and we asked if we could sit by the water. Again, it's a beautiful day, beautiful views out here. Mm -hmm. And we had the perfect view of the tower, which was actually really cool because that's where we're staying right now. We talked to our waitress and we noticed that on the table there was actually a Mickey head in the design, which was really awesome, especially because in the tower there are so many hidden Mickeys. Mm -hmm. So it was a really nice play on that. And she said, well, just so you know, there is another hidden Mickey in this restaurant that most people can't find. Well, challenge accepted. That's going to happen. Yeah. So we literally walked around the lounge looking everywhere. And this actually worked out really nicely because we got to actually explore the lounge before a lot of people were there. And they have the coolest things in this lounge. They have a no heat fire pit, which is like really amazing. You can actually stick your hand in it because it's like a steam fog. So it's not actually fire. It just looks really cool. And there's actually like a garden in the middle of the lounge too. Like someone had a lot of fun going and figuring out really cool things to put in this lounge. They're just so amazing. And it did take us about 10 minutes to find the hidden Mickey. We looked all over the place. We were given a hint that it was on a certain side. We finally found the hidden Mickey up in the rafters. There is one brace that is different from all the others, which is why you don't notice it because you see some of the braces, you're like, oh, they just look like that. But there's one that is different, it's a hidden Mickey. And I love that so much because that is such a little detail that the Imagineers thought of and created and put in there just so that guests could have fun and look for this hidden Mickey. Since we finally found that, I guess we should probably sit at our table <laughs> and eat because that is why we came to this restaurant, not it's just true. to find hidden Mickeys. And of course, never been here before. Everything on the menu looked really good. We mm -hmm. had to ask our server for some recommendations. She made several food recommendations and then told us about one item that was not even on the menu. They're testing it out as a potential future menu item and asked me wanted to try that. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. if you think it's good enough to possibly make the menu in the future, let's try it early and see what we think. So we started things off with a couple drinks. Alyssa got an Adwal lemonade because they do serve those here. And I got the prickly pear lemonade, which was Adwal lemonade with iced tea and prickly pear. 
It was really good. I think this is probably one of my favorite Adwala drinks that I've had at any of the lounges or restaurants so far. Very different from what you normally get with just the strawberry or raspberry lemonade. And the first food item we got was the one that was actually not on the menu. It is the street corn dip. And I'm not one to generally eat corn very often, but this was really good. Robert kept talking about how good it was. I'm like, okay, I have to try it just to see what I think. And it was delicious. We ate the entire thing. It was so, so good. And we made sure to let our waitress know how much we loved it because we would like this to not be a temporary thing. We wanna have it when we come back next time. And we're very happy to tell you all, these are now on the menu so you can get them next time you go. Apparently they got a lot of good feedback because it's now there. For our main entrees, I got the chicken sliders. These looked amazing. They looked really good. They were very heavy, but they were so messy because the biscuits were so dry. It literally just fell apart. And so I couldn't even eat the chicken on the biscuits. So I ended up just eating the chicken. The chicken was good, but I just didn't eat the biscuits because there just seemed like no point. And I went with the signature burger they have here at Three Bridges. It is a special blend of meats that they used. I was pretty impressed with the burger patty itself. It's not quite a bison burger from Wilderness Lodge, but it's a really good burger. It's got manchego cheese on there and the fries were paprika smoked fries. Those were awesome. So I think the combination of ingredients plus the fries, this is really high on my list of burgers from the lounges at Disney World because this is really good. And we also got an order of the braised pork tacos to share. The waitress recommended these, said they had a lot of flavor, and she was right. They mm -hmm. were very full of flavor. However, the little tortillas they came on kind of started to fall apart because they were so juicy. So that was the only downside of this. You wound up eating half of it with a fork because it just kind of started to fall apart on you. And for dessert, we decided to order the vanilla custard Mickey tart. And when it came, it looked so cute. We absolutely loved it, but we didn't like the flavor at all. It really didn't taste like anything. Yeah, very bland. It was, I mean, I yeah. thought vanilla would be the strong, no, it wasn't even really vanilla flavored. It was just kind of like bland custard. It was really weird. It was really strange and very unexpected because everything else was so good and had so much flavor and this basically had none. So we tried a couple bites just to give it a second chance and then just left it there but it looked really great for pictures, so there's that. And I guess that's why it's not on the menu anymore and they've replaced it with something else because it just it wasn't <laughs> all that good. After we finished our dinner, we started walking back to the tower across the bridge and once we got across the bridge, there was actually live music right there at the bar. So we sat down and just kind of enjoyed the music for a few songs before we headed back up to our room. <laughs> When we got there, I got to work on creating a video to post on social media all about Three Bridges because we really enjoyed our meal mm -hmm. there overall. Alyssa started working on the blog post, I was working on the video. Once we kind of finished both of those up, it was getting late, but I really am enjoying the fitness center they have here at this resort. So I headed back downstairs to that fancy treadmill with a big TV built in and worked out for a little while there before heading back up to the room. And that was the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow for our year with the ears.